Well, here we are. Three weeks into the mandatory stay home order. It is the 8th, April 8th, 2020. Just happens to be Yappy's birthday. Happy birthday, Yappy. Uh, so we are three weeks into this mandatory stay at home pandemic thing. We're all going stir crazy. Texas State Parks closed yesterday. That's the official email that they sent out. Corps of Engineer properties have been closed, for, and Corps of Engineer and National properties have all been closed for a while. <sighs> no place for us RVers to go, man. Except super fan Dave Morris is camped out in the, I don't know, he's down somewhere, wildlife area, primitive camping. There's not too many of those left either. So, with nothing else to do, I still have footage left over from my visit to the Dallas RV Super Sale. We're gonna take a look at some RV units and a folding bicycle. I hope y'all enjoy. Uh, I'm now out in front of the show. Check out a Winnebago Adventurer. Oh, that's kind of cool. Of course, we've got the, the electric bed above. Captain's chairs that swivel here in the driver's section. I don't care for the fact that there's no sofa, but we do have a dinette. And there's no, and you have to twist your head. To, I guess you use the captain's chairs to watch TV. Induction and gas cooktop. Microwave and convection oven. That's kind of cool. Two-way power refrigerator freezer. So you can go do some boondocking and still have your refrigerated food. It's a queen size master. A little bit small. Seems like there's ample storage space back here. Of course. Not too bad. Ample space in there to get clean and do your business. It's got solar installed. The big question is, are these recliners? Yeah, so those are recliners, but they're, they're not very big recliners. Then we have another Winnebago. This one. This one has an outdoor kitchen. It's a 31B. Bunk beds. Well, that's why you come in. You can figure out what the bunk does fold up. The queen size master. Some storage underneath. Smaller wardrobe. That's a we were sure. definitely looking to upgrade what we got. We bought it because we liked it. We have a three week, week trip coming up this yeah. summer. And we were kind of, that looks cool. Someone was coming trying to see if we could get into one before that, but it's not going to happen. Sure. That's the way I. Two way power refrigerator. You know, we're also looking for ideas of, of what you know would be the next buy. Yeah. And what, how much room we got. See the. They all start to look the same after a while, you know? All right. Let's go check out the 2020 Winnebago Spirit 22M. Nice little Class C motorhome. It's built on the E350 chassis. 
This one does not have a slide. It's got a great big booth dinette. Not very much in the way of outside storage. We'll let them clear out and then go back in. Oh, I was wrong. That's a pretty decent sized storage right there. The bed is on a slide. So it actually has a, a queen bed that's on the slide. And once the slide is out, that flips out. So you would not be able to use this like in the Walmart parking lot. But it's got a big bathroom. I think we need to go see some vans. All right, we're gonna take a look at the Conquest by Gulf Stream. And that's a model 6320. You can see it's got an outside entertainment center. What caught my attention as I was going by, I saw the, the sofas, and that actually looks like they would be ah, almost comfortable for me. Of course, I'm six foot two. So most chairs don't fit real well. The driver's compartment seems really open. I really like those cabinets up there. Makes for a smaller bed, but I like those cabinets. It's on the E450 chassis. Oh no, that's I like that. Lots of counter space. Nice big TV. Booth dinette. Three burner gas stove for that bacon and egg breakfast, baby. And how about some hot chocolate chip cookies coming out of that propane fired up popcorn out of the microwave? Two way power refrigerator freezer. So you can get way out in the middle of the boonies and still have cold food. Big shower. That's really big shower. And over here, then we have a potty. Kind of short. And big for me, a squatty potty. And then a big inner, uh, I'm sorry, a big wardrobe. I was looking at the TV backer location. It's a queen size bed. And it's a little short queen size bed too. There is no storage under that bed. So this, this there's not much, that's pretty much all the storage you have back here in this RV. One air conditioner. Gulfstream Class C. Here you have it. All right, we've been talking about, been looking at folding e-bikes. Here's like the Cadillac of the folding e-bikes. That one's got full suspension on both front and back. That's not really what I'm looking at. Now this one, on the other hand, I can see myself riding that. The, uh, the bike that I front suspension, get the rear hub motor on it. All of these bikes are 750 watt. They're 48 volt. Ooh. 750 watt, one horsepower, 48 volt battery pack, and here's what it looks like folded up. $1,600. Alright, we're going to take a look at the Conquest by Gulf Stream. And that's a model 6320. You can see it's got an outside entertainment center. 
what caught my attention as I was going by, I saw the, the sofas, and that actually looks like they would be ah, almost comfortable for me. Of course, I'm six foot two, so most chairs don't fit real well. The driver's compartment seems really open. I really like those cabinets up there. Makes for a smaller bed, but I like those cabinets. It's on the E450 chassis. Oh, no, that's, I like that. Lots of counter space. Nice big TV. Booth dinette. Three burner gas stove for that bacon and egg breakfast, baby. And how about some hot chocolate chip cookies? Coming out of that propane fired up popcorn out of the microwave. Two way power refrigerator freezer. So you can get way out in the middle of the boonies and still have cold food. Big shower. That's a really big shower. And over here, then we have a potty. Kind of short. That'd be for me a squatty potty. And then a big inner, uh, I'm sorry, a big wardrobe. I was looking at the TV backer location. It's a queen size bed. And it's a little short queen size bed too. There is no storage under that bed. So this, this there's not much. That's pretty much all the storage you have back here in this RV. One air conditioner. Gulfstream Class C. Here you have it. Let's go take a look at the Sunseeker 2380 SC. This is built on the Transit, Ford Transit. Seating, seat belts for four. Okay, and those actually turn into like a lounger kind of thing. TV's right there, so it'd be awkward watching TV. But the, there's a table for the dinette there. Sink. We're washing your veggies and your dishes. Two burner propane stove. Two way power refrigerator freezer. Guess that's probably a queen size bed. Not too bad. You could actually probably fit a king in here as long as you didn't want to walk all the way around it. I don't know what that measure is. Have the potty and a big shower. This is, this is not, not, not too shabby. Kind of tight right in here though. The one thing I really don't care for though is if you're sitting here and you want to watch TV, the TV is like right up there. There is storage behind it though. All right. Let's go see some more stuff. So we're going to look at another Travato. This is a 259KL. Similar to the last Travato we saw. Of course, it's on a Sprinter. I mean, on a Ram Promaster. They're starting to run together. Ram Promaster chassis. It means it's a little bit wider actually got two twin beds and that can probably be made into a queen and then this one is the sofa and here in the back we have the wet bath it seems like there's ample storage all the way around in the overhead so it's got the locking latches so you don't have to worry about stuff falling on your head Of course, we've got an outside awning and our speakers, 110 power, for your wet station. And then we have 
the Travado 259G. Okay, so you have, this converts into a little twin bed, or not even a twin bed, just kind of a bunk. This is on the Ram Promaster chassis. And the table pivots out so that you can feed five, I guess, three, two, three, four, five. Refrigerator freezer combo, microwave, two burner gas stove and a sink. We have a fairly decent sized garage so that will actually fold up and you've got storage under there so you can put a bicycle the wet bath is running this way instead of like that more to come so this is the Forza thirty-eight W. <laughs> Look at the size of the storage. What I don't care for though is the fact that they're under the the slide. We'll just poke our head in here and take a look. Daddy. Yeah, buddy. Oh. <laughs> you guys want to come? Hold on, Mac. Yeah, we need this. Sofa is configured with the big screen TV. And there's the bunks. Here in the kitchen, we have stainless, gas. Two full baths. All right, we're gonna take a look at the Grand Design Reflection. As I was going by, this caught my eye, the stairs. So we're gonna take a look. Check that out. Okay, it's a mid bunk house. So the, the bunk house could actually serve as an office if you're full time and on the road. And then there's another bunk up there or great storage spot full bath you know king master I like that big closet you know not quite the two story that I thought it was it's not bad you know got the sofa recliner seats there lots of space Lots of cabinet space. All right. We're going to head to the house. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our visit to the Dallas RV Supercell, give me one of those thumbs up and blast me out across social media. And if you've not already done so, if you have not already done so, I'd, pre I'd, I'd appreciate you clicking on the subscribe button. Following along, I've still got state parks coming your way. Y'all come back now, you hear